Okay. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. We'll continue doing this diagonalization of a matrix. So just to remind you what are the steps. Eigenvalues, eigenvectors. If we have n, it's n by n. Huh? Matrix is n by n. So if I have n linear independent eigenvectors, then a is diagonalizable. What is p? Just I list the vectors, the eigenvectors. D in the diagonal, I list the eigenvalues. That's this. So I have a equal p d b inverse. Okay. If I did not get a linear independent eigenvector, then a is not diagonalizable. Okay. Let us do this one. Find first eigenvalues. I think we did it before, but let me do it again. One, one, one. Okay. I can make this one zero. I multiply the second row by minus one and add it to the third row to make the to make zeros. So that would make it a little bit easier for me in the calculation, hopefully. I have zero minus one that will make it zero. That will be lambda minus nine plus one. That will be lambda minus eight. I have times minus one that give me eight minus lambda. So I have what now? Nine minus lambda. This this I have nine minus lambda one. Lambda minus eight. 8 minus lambda minus 1 times the rest cancel this and this I have 1 1 lambda minus 8 8 minus lambda. okay let me do the calculation all right this is just to find eigenvalues 9 minus lambda what I have here be careful I have 9 minus lambda times 8 minus lambda Minus lambda minus eight. Okay. I leave it like this so that I can take lambda minus eight as a common factor. So I have in a eight minus lambda minus lambda minus eight, which is plus eight minus lambda. This is times minus, so I make it eight minus lambda. Okay. So I can take now. I have 9 minus lambda. Here I will take 8 minus lambda common factor. I have what? 9 minus lambda. This is will be plus so. It will be plus 8 minus lambda. So I have 10 minus lambda. Minus 2, 8 minus lambda. So now I can take 8 minus lambda common factor. And if I apply this by this, let me do it. I have lambda square minus 10 lambda minus, minus 9 minus 19 lambda. Minus 10 lambda minus 9 lambda, that's minus 9 19 lambda plus 90 minus 2. That'll give me 8 minus lambda. Lambda square minus 19 lambda plus 88. 88 is 8 times 11, and this is 19. Give me that's good. So I have 8 minus lambda. Lambda minus eight, lambda minus eight equals zero. So lambdas will be what? Eight, eight, eleven. These are the eigenvalues. So for lambda equal eight, I let V one, K one, K two, K three. And it solved the system. That will be what? One, one, one. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Times K1, K2, K3 equals 0, 0, 0. So what will happen? That I have only one equation, K1. That means K1 equal minus K2 minus K3. So what are the three variables? K2 and K3. So I do this trick, let k1 equal 0, let k1 equal 1 is k2, I mean, k2 equal 1, and k3 equal 0. 
on the k2 equal zero and k3 equal one. To be sure they are independent, so it will be k1. K1 will be minus one in both cases. So I have V1 minus one, one zero, and V2 minus one zero one. Okay. Now for lambda equal 11, let us see what will happen. I let V3 now, K1, K2, K3. So I have what? Minus two, one, one. 1 minus 2, 1, 1, 1 minus 2. Maybe I can use the Gauss elimination to do it. So let me try to do Gauss elimination. I rearrange it. I take the second row, make it the first, and and the second will be, will be the, and the first will be the second. Do the calculation, that give me what? This is one minus two, one. By two, and add, that will be zero. That will be five. By two, that will be minus three, sorry. By two, and add, that will be two. That will be three, not two. By z by minus one and add that will be zero. By minus one and add that will be three. By minus one and add that will be minus three. So that will be one minus two one. Let me divide by minus one. I have one minus one. Multiply by minus three. That will be zero zero. Very clear. So what I have, I have K1 minus 2, K2 plus K3 equals zero. I have K2 minus K3 equals zero. So I have K2 equal K3. And if I plug it here, I have K1 minus 2, K3 minus K3 equals zero. So K1 equal also K3. So K3, my free variable, that K3 equal one. So K1 will be K2 equals to 1. So it is my V3, 1, 1, 1. So how many eigenvectors I have? I have three, so A is diagonalizable. Diagonalizable. And what is D? I list it, start with eight. Huh? Yeah, so it's eight, eight, eleven, the rest are zeros. And what is B? Same order. What is B one? One zero. Plus one 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 one. That will be that is B. And that is D. Okay. These matrices, let us do them. Find A minus lambda I. This is call it one. This is call it two. So I start with one. I have what minus lambda one zero minus lambda. That give me lambda square. So equal zero. So lambda equal zero. So check the eigenvalues for lambda equal zero. What I have, I let V1, K1, K2. I'm getting what? 0, 1, 0, 0 times K1, K2. That will be 0, 0. So I have K2 equals 0. And K1 is free. So I let K1 equal 1. I'm getting only one eigenvectors. Would be 1 equal 1, 0. So A is not diagonalizable. I have two by two matrix, so I need two eigenvectors for A to be diagonalizable. I have only one. 
Let me do the second one. I have B minus lambda I. That will be what? 2 minus lambda 1, 0. 0, 2 minus lambda 1, 0, 0, 2 minus lambda. Very clear, this is 2 minus lambda cubed. So lambda will be 2, 2, 2. So now for lambda equal 2, I let V1, K1, K2, K3. Let us see how many eigenvectors I will get. Do the calculation. I have what? 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, times k1, k2, k3, equals 0, 0, 0. So what do I have? I have k2 equals 0. I have k2 equals 0, and k3 equals 0. So k1 is free. No restriction in k1. So I let k1 to be 1. I'm getting only one eigenvector, 1, 0, 0. So B is not diagonalizable. Let me do more problems. Yeah, this one. Let me find the eigenvalues. Mm -hmm. That will be what? 11 minus lambda minus 6 minus 2, 20 minus 11 minus 4 minus 11 minus lambda, 0, 0, 1 minus lambda. I'll do the expansion with the last row, 1 minus lambda. What's the remaining? I divide, take this and this. I have minus 6 minus 2. Minus 11 minus lambda minus 4. Then give me 1 minus lambda times what? 24 minus minus 2. So minus 22. I did a mistake. I'll move this and this because I'm taking one minus lambda. Yeah. So I have 11 plus lambda and minus 6, 20 minus 11 minus lambda. That give me one minus lambda. What I have here? This is minus lambda. This is minus. Yeah. So I have lambda square. Minus 11 lambda plus 11 lambda gun. OK. Yeah. Minus 11 lambda plus 11 lambda is gun. So minus 121 plus 120. Hmm. I have 1 minus lambda, lambda square minus 1. So that'll give me 1 minus lambda, lambda minus 1, lambda plus 1, equals 0. So what are the lambdas? They have 1, 1, minus 1. Now for lambda equal 1, let me see what will happen. I let V1 to be K1. K2, K3. What are this? What is the system? We have 10. OK, minus 6, minus 2. Then I have 20. Minus 11, minus 1. This is minus 12, minus 4. And the last one I have 0, 0, 0. So I have 10 K1 minus 6 K2 minus K3 equals 0 and 20 K1 minus 12 K2 minus 4 K3 equals 0. These are the same. Multiply the first one by 2, you get the second one. 
So I divide by two. I have what K3 will be 10 K1 minus 6 K2. No, oh, I divide by two, sorry. So that will be five and three. So I have K1 and K2 are free variables. My free variables are K1 and K2. So I let K1 equal 1 and K2 equal 0. And K1 equal 0 and K2 equal 1 to have linear independent. So it will be K3, 5, and K3 here will be minus 3. So V1. Will be one zero five and V two zero one minus three. Yeah. Now for lambda two equals what? Minus one. I let V3 now. So for sure, K, the A is diagonalizable. Huh? So I have the system that will be 12 minus 6 minus 2. I have 20 minus 11 plus 1. That will be minus 10 and minus 4. And the last one I have 0, 0. 1 minus minus 1, that will be 2. Amateur calculation. So I have what, 12k1 minus 6k2 minus 2k3 equals 0. And 20k1 minus 10k2 minus 4k3 equals 0. And 2k3 equals 0. So from here, I'm getting that K3 equals zero. So I take the first two. I have 12 K1 minus 6 K2 equals zero. And 20 K1 minus 10 K2 equals zero. Since K3 equals zero, I divide by six. 2 K1 minus K2 equals zero. Divide by 10, 2 K1. So K2 will be 2K1. So K1 is my free variable. So I let K1 to be 1. K2 is 2. So my V3 will be 1, 2, and K3 is 0. So A is diagonalizable. I have three eigenvectors. What is D? I start with one, one. Huh? So it's one, one, minus one, the rest are zeros. What is B? Just the eigenvector, same order. I have one, zero, five. Zero, one, minus three. One, two, zero. This is correct. Yeah, by the way, this is the same. But I mean, he, he made it in a different way. If you look at this one, he take K13 and K25, so K3 will be zero. Okay. Now, different examples. Find D, find D, find P and D as usual. If the matrix is diagonalizable, I'll do diagonal values. So I get what? 1 minus lambda, 2, 4, 3 minus lambda. That give me what? Lambda square minus 4 lambda. Okay. Plus 3 minus 8. That equal what? Lambda square minus 4 lambda minus 5. Actually, I can factor it. Will be lambda minus five, lambda plus one equals zero. So lambda minus one and five 
So for lambda one equal minus one, I let V one to be K one and K two. I solve the system, what I will have. Two, two, four, four times K one, K two equals zero, zero. So you have two K one plus two K two equals zero and four K one plus four K two equals zero. In other words, K two equal minus K one. Or K one equal minus K one. It's the same. So my K2 is the free variable. Let K2 equal 1. K1 will be minus 1. So my V1 will be minus 1. And I want it to be the same as this. So, okay. Now for lambda equals what? What is the next one? 5. I let V2. K1, K2. So it will be the system. 1 minus 5, that is minus 4 and 2. 4, 3 minus 5, that's minus 2. We have what? Minus 4K1 plus 2K2 equals 0. And 4K1 minus 2K2 equals 0. So very clear, I can say K2 equal 2K1. So I let K1 to be 1. So K2 will be 2. So my V2 will be what? 1 and 2. By the way, when I have these, the distinct, real and distinct, for sure A is diagonalizable. So what is D? Minus 1 and 5, 0, 0. I start with minus 1, so I'll put B also the one with minus 1. That is minus 1 and 1. This is 1 and 2, which is this. Also. Let me do another problem. Diagonalize an A if possible. Let us see what will happen. A minus lambda I. That will be 1 minus lambda 0, 1, 1 minus lambda. So you have 1 minus lambda square. So lambda will be 1, 1. Or 1, let me set it to. So for lambda equal 1, let me see. I will get one vector or two vectors. V will be K1 and K2. So what will be the system? 1 minus 1, that will be 0, 0, 1, 0. K1, K2. So I have a 0 and K1 equals 0. So K2 is free. Let K2 equal 1. So I have V1, 0, 1. I have only one, one eigenvector, so A is not diagonalizable. It's not diagonalizable. I have only one eigenvector. Okay. Yeah, this is three by three. Yeah, I'll do determinant a minus lambda i. That give me what? Minus lambda one 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 minus lambda one 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 minus lambda. Try to make this zero. So multiply the first second row by minus one and add it to the third row. I get what? Minus lambda one one. 1 minus lambda 1. Multiply by minus 1 and add, that will be 0. By minus 1 and add, that will be 1 plus lambda. By minus 1 and add, that will be minus 1 minus lambda. Yeah, that will make it a little bit easier. So I'll do minus 1. Minus, I'll do the expansion with the first column. Minus lambda 1. 1 plus lambda. Minus 1 minus lambda. I have minus one times the remaining this and this. I have one, one, one plus lambda minus one minus lambda. Yeah, we can do the calculation minus lambda. 
We have what lambda square plus lambda minus one minus lambda minus one of what? Minus one minus lambda minus one minus lambda. That give me what? Minus lambda. These two cancelled. I have lambda minus one, lambda plus one. Here I have what? Minus two minus two lambda. So I take minus two outside, that will be two, one plus lambda. So now I take one plus lambda common factor. Let me take minus. Minus one plus lambda. I have what? What's the remaining? Lambda times. Lambda times lambda minus one. From this side, take minus, I have minus two. That will be one plus lambda. I have lambda squared minus lambda minus two. That give me one plus lambda. What is this? This is lambda minus two times lambda plus one. So I have lambda minus one minus one and two. Now let me work out lambda equal minus one. Let V1 Let me see what will happen. What is the system will be? Zero minus minus one. That will be one one one. One one one. One one one. So I have only one equation. K1. Plus K2 plus K3 equals zero. Or I can write it K1 minus K2 minus K3. So what are the three variables? K2 and K3. So I do this trick. Let to have independent K2 equal one and K3 equal zero and K3 equal K2 equal zero and K3 equal one. So I'm having K1 equal minus one in both cases. So we have V1 will be what? Minus one, one zero and V2 minus one zero one. I think we did something similar like this. Was it the same matrix or different? Oh, it's different. The same, I think. Yeah. So now we'll go to four lambda equal, what is it? Two. I did V3 now. K1, K2, K3. So what will happen in this case? What will be the system? Minus two, one, 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 minus two, one, 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 minus two, times K1, K2, K3, equal zero, zero, zero. By the way, this is the same system we did before. I need to this time. Yeah, it's this, yeah. Minus two, one, 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 minus two, one, 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 minus two. Minus two, one, 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 minus two, one, 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 minus two. So no need to. What what was the answer? I have V3, one, one, one. That's it. So do the calculation. I get V3 will be one, one, one. So A is diagonalizable. Not only that, D will be what? Minus one, minus one, two. Don't forget the zeros. Or the diagonal matrix, P will be what? The vectors, minus one, one, zero. 
minus one zero one 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 one. What is this answer? Yeah. By the way, there's something. Let me let me talk about it here. If I look at this matrix right away, I know it's diagonalizable. There is a rule. If A is symmetric. What's your symmetric? A equal A transpose. Then A is diagonalizable. Okay, for example, what is A transpose here? A transpose means what? I make the row column and the column row. So I make like this row column and this row column. I'm getting the same matrix. So right away, A is diagonalizable. If you look at this one, the same thing. The row, if you make this a column and this, yeah, you'll get the same same matrix. So A equal A transpose. So for sure it will be diagonalizable without doing anything. This one, no. If it is not symmetric, it may be diagonalizable, may, may not. Huh? But if it is symmetric, for sure it's diagonalizable. This one, no, it's not symmetric, but it still is diagonalizable. This one are not symmetric. This one is symmetric. Yeah, the row is this one, it will be columns. Huh? So it's A equal C equal C transpose. If it is working with C, not with A, it's OK. So it's diagonalizable. For sure, it will be diagonalizable without doing any anything. So if the matrix is symmetric, means A is equal to A transpose, then A is diagonalizable. OK, now let me do the calculation. Yeah, I think I have two before I go to the old exams. A minus lambda I, that will be what? One minus lambda two, two one minus lambda. That can be lambda square minus two lambda. Am I right? Yeah. Plus one minus four, which is lambda square minus two lambda minus three, which is lambda minus three lambda plus one equals zero. Is it? Yeah. So I have lambda equal minus one. Or lambda equals three. Now for sure it's A is diagonalizable. Since they have distinct, real distinct roots. Okay. <clears throat> now for lambda equal minus one, I let V1 will be K1, K2. What I will have? What will be the system? That will be two, two. Two two. So I have two K one plus two K two equals zero. In other words, K one equal minus K two. So I let K two to be one. So K one will be minus one. So it will, it will be V one minus one one. Okay. Now for lambda equal three. What will happen? I let V2 to be K1, K2. This is the rule. So I have what? Minus 2, 2, 2 minus 2. So I have what? Minus 2, K1 plus 2, K2 equals 0. The second equation is the same. Multiplying by minus one. So K1 equal K2. So I let K2 equal one. K1 equal one. So V2 will be one, one. So A is analyzable. Yeah, actually not from here. So what is D? D will be minus one and three, zero, zero. And what is P? will be what is it what is b1 minus one 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 okay let me do this one a minus lambda i this is this is symmetric 
So it's diagonalizable. But let me do the actual is diagonal. This one is diagonal by itself. So it is a minus lambda i. I have three minus lambda zero zero. Four minus lambda. Okay. So that will be three minus lambda four minus lambda a equals zero. So lambda equals three or lambda is equal to four. Okay, so for lambda equal three, I let V1 to be what? K1, K2. I'm getting what? Zero, 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 four minus, and that is one times K1, K2 equal zero, zero. So that implies what? K2 equals zero. So K1 is free, no restriction in K1. So I let K1 to be one. So I'm getting V1 is one zero. Now for lambda two equal four, what I have? I have, yeah, I let, K, let V2, K1, K2. So I have the system, three minus, that minus one, zero, 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 times K1, K2, equal zero, zero. So what I have, minus K1 equals zero, so K1 equals zero. So K2 is free. So I let K2 to be one. So what I get, what is V2? It's zero, one. Okay, so what is D? This three zero zero four, and what is p? P is what one zero zero one. What is this? This is the identity. So when you write, actually d d is the d is diagonal. Look at d d is diagonal. So a is b d b inverse a equal b d. Now when I, I write it. You notice one thing. When I write A equal B D B inverse. P is I. So what's it's inverse? The same thing I. So what is P D B inverse? That give me I D I that give me D, which is A. D is the same as A. Yeah. This is the matrix is diagonal. So we are diagonalizing a diagonal matrix. For sure, it will be diagonal. It will be diagonalizable. Okay, let me stop. The remaining is questions from the old exams and then questions from the book, which I will do later. Let me stop the recording. Thank you.